Today I'd like to talk a little bit about test profiles. Sometimes the question is, what is a test profile and how do I change my test profiles? So here I am in the Vibration View software and I'm on the system check page, but let's go to a new test and let's open up a sign test. And let's go to the advanced tab. And when you're in the advanced tab, you can see here that there are many other tabs to open. And the first one is our profile tab. And a profile, whether in sign or random or other tests, essentially has these features. What kind of G levels do you want your product to experience and over what frequency range? The two parameters that are particularly important are the G levels and the frequencies, the frequency content. So you see that in the sign test, you could change whatever starting frequency and ending frequency you want and whatever G levels you might have. I'm going to cancel this test and show you the same idea in a random test. Go to the advanced tab and here, it doesn't say profile, but it's got the word table, but the same general essence is here. You need to set some kind of frequencies. And what we're building here is a breakpoint table. And what kinds of amplitudes are you planning or desiring to test for this particular product? I'm gonna cancel out of this and open up a standard test. One standard test we face in the random tests are the NavMat profile. And when I clicked on that, I said the word NavMat profile, indicating that there is a particular set of standards here that needs to be met. And they are certain frequencies from 20 hertz to 80 hertz. We are going to have this amplitude and it changes at 80 hertz to 0.04 G squared per hertz and that stays flat till 350 hertz. I want to go back a minute. Starting at 20 hertz, you're going to have this amplitude and it increases until the value of 0.04 at 80 hertz. And so that's the idea of a profile. What kind of frequencies and what kinds of amplitudes are you planning to have for this particular test. That's what a profile is.